Hi, I'm Galen, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do something new. We've gone over all the photos that I have for the last two years. So I decided to, I'm going to make videos to kind of answer some of the questions that some of you have had. Um, one of the big ones I've been seeing lately is side effects. And uh, side effects are something to be taken quite seriously, especially when they can be rather alarming, especially when using minoxidil. Um, one of the big ones is the heart palpitations. That one is like where you'll feel like your heart is like racing um, and it feels like you just ran a mile and uh, your heart's racing and it kind of gets really strong and then it just starts to subside and it'll kind of be like uh, waves like that. So it'll go up and then go down and up and then it'll slowly subside and it usually starts kicking in about maybe five to ten minutes after you've applied minoxidil and that overall sensation of it happening tends to last two to three months, uh, which can seem like a long time, especially when you feel like uh, you're just, you know, are kind of out of breath. But uh, eventually it does start to subside and after the first month or so it started to become less noticeable. I'm still there and then every once in a while um, over the past two years, uh, I'd get like a spat of it for like a day. But since I already knew what it was, it wasn't anything to be alarmed about. There was only maybe one case where I felt like it got really bad, in which case I just laid down and that kind of was that. But ever since then, uh, I never felt like it got out of control, so I kind of just kept going with it. Um, but it's definitely one of the more alarming side effects of using minoxidil, so please be aware of it. And um, if it does get to be rather severe, then you should consider maybe throttling back how many times you're using it per day. Kind of on that same uh, note, for side effects, shortness of breath is a big one, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the heart palpitations. I'm assuming that because your heart is, you know, maybe working overtime, it probably means there's less oxygen in your breath. So um, you just kind of feel like you, again, have ran a mile, um, even though you haven't done anything. That one, a little less alarming, and that one kind of decided after the first month. Yeah, definitely not as alarming as the heart palpitations, though. The next one uh, kind of goes with the last two is I had some lethargy. felt like I would be tired, um, especially maybe the 20 minutes after applying minoxidil on my face. I would feel like uh, I just needed to take a nap. That one, um, I kind of worked my schedule around, so uh, I work really early in the morning um, and I apply minoxidil um, sometime in the afternoon right when I'm finishing work. So if I do have that lethargic feeling, I am able to just take a nap at the time. That one kind of comes and goes. Uh, it really depends on, you know, my diet and, you know, whether I'm regularly exercising. So after this are kind of the less severe side effects. And one of them is the dark bags under the eyes. I used to have very smooth skin uh, under my eyes. And uh, ever since I uh, went on minoxidil, I've started to develop like these kind of these lines that kind of look like I haven't slept in a little while. Um, that could be true too, um, but pretty much uh, it's a pretty common for people to develop kind of these dark circles under your eyes. And supposedly once you roll off of minoxidil that goes away, so we'll see um, probably at the end of the year when I roll off myself. The other one that uh, I've been ask getting asked a lot is about acne. So you can actually see some acne scars right here. Um, and I do, I pretty much got very, very, very little acne um, after I turned like 20. Um, and kind of stayed that way for up until I was 28 and started using minoxidil, in which case I started to develop a lot of acne. Um, and it was kind of like the angry cystic kind. So, um, the one that kind of bubbles up, it's red, angry, and then, you know, you try to get rid of it and it just kind of scabs up and just makes your face look gross. Um, that's kind of kind of acne I started to develop after using minoxidil. So I can only assume that they're probably correlated in some way, shape, or form. And it usually happened right around where I would apply the minoxidil. Every once in a while it'll crop up, you know, a little bit outside of the perimeter. Uh, but I do put it on my eyebrows, so, you know, stuff like this kind of makes sense. Um, and it kind of followed like a phase. It was like one of the phases of the hair growth. So, you know, you'd apply the minoxidil, then you'd have like a dry, scaly, um, like phase where your skin was kind of like peeling, looked like you just got, you're getting over a bad sunburn. And then after which you develop the acne and then after the acne would go away, then you'd start to see new hair growth. So 
Acne, while it's a side effect, you can also use it like as a litmus test that things are working um, and that there are good things to come in the, f in the future once you've kind of gotten past the acne phase and into the sweet beard gains phase. Uh, the other one, the other side effect that I started to develop was excess body hair. I'm Asian, so pretty hairless in general, um, but ever since I started taking minoxidil, I started to develop some chest hair. Uh, not very many, I mean, I could probably count maybe 30 hairs, but um, that is a development nonetheless. The little more annoying one, I'd say, is I started to develop like very fine baby hairs, like right underneath my eyes. Um, I just take a razor and shave it off every once in a while. Again, that's one of the ones that I've been told it will go away after you've rolled off of minoxidil. But again, until I've uh, experimented it myself, I can't say for certain. So at the end of the year, I'll report back about any of these side effects and what happens after you've rolled off. And probably one of the last of the major side effects, I'd say, is hair shedding. I know a lot of people have been making comments down below saying that they're worried that maybe minoxidil triggered my hair loss. Well, I'll have you know that my hair loss is mine and mine alone, um, runs in the family, so minoxidil had nothing to do with me losing my hair. And um, I don't know if you can see it, like right here, there's like a little bald patch right there. Um, it's like, looks like a straight circle, um, and that's what I would attribute to that shedding. So the dark hair actually shed it, fell off, and left like a little bald patch. Um, and then, you know, a couple days after, you start to see new hair starting to pop out from that same spot. So, um, it's part of the process, you know, it just, you're gonna go for duration and expect that you will see progress over the long term and that it might dip down in some areas, but it'll go back up um, after some time. So, don't lose faith, it is all part of the process. Now, I wanted to add on a little bit of extra stuff because, um, not all of the side effects, I'd say, were bad. I listed out all the bad side effects at first, but there were some, I guess, other effects, I'd say. Uh, I wouldn't quite consider them, like, you know, adverse effects. They are more, like, positive or just neutral. One of the big ones was actually that my hairline kind of started to come back. I kind of use this mole right here to kind of determine where my hair loss is, and you can see it used to not be covered, and now the hairline kind of covers it. So not like the biggest, you know, scientific thing, but as I mentioned in previous videos, I was on finasteride for many, many years, about 11 years. Um, found out that it actually was making me very depressed. Um, and so I stopped taking it, worried about losing my hair again. So I decided to shave my head only to find out that uh, I wasn't balding as fast or was losing my hair as fast as I thought I would. And I'd say I actually have more hair now than I did when I first started taking finasteride. And another one that was kind of a, I guess, a pleasant surprise, and not an area where I put on minoxidil, uh, is my eyelashes. So my family is cursed with having zero eyelashes, um, negative eyelashes, might I say. Um, but I actually found that my eyelashes are actually very long now, and that definitely uh, happened right after I took minoxidil. So. I don't apply minoxidil on my eyeballs, that seems like a, a bad thing to do. Um, but uh, I think because I apply it to my eye, uh, eyebrows and to my face, uh, again, it probably is close enough that it probably just um, helps out with the growth there too. Um, have been growing hairs out of my ears, thankfully, but uh, definitely something I'm keeping an eye out for just in case that does happen, in which case we're cutting off the minoxidil real quick. <laughs> Anyway, uh, those are kind of the side effects that I've experienced. Uh, I hope that helps you um, so that you can make an informed decision before taking on your own minoxidil beard journey. If you want to continue to follow me on this beard journey, please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit that 500 subscriber goal. Uh, we're getting close to 400, I believe. So when we hit that 500 subscriber goal, I'll make a little time-lapse video of the last two years of my beard journey. So hopefully you can all look forward to seeing that. If you like this content, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, you guys have been killing it with giving me all this uh, support. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. You guys have been coming out with great questions, so I really appreciate all the back and forth that we've been having. I hope this video has been informative for you and that way you can go into your own minoxidil beard journey with as much information and confidence that it's the right path for you. As always, stay strong beard brother, and I'll catch you later.